So Leo Santa Cruz beats Keenan Kabahal, if that's how you pronounce his last name, in a 12 round unanimous decision. So let's talk about my thoughts on this fight. Let's, let me give my thoughts. You know, I didn't even know. I, I I guess it skipped past me. But I didn't even know Leo Santa Cruz was fighting, man. It's crazy. So many other things that, that comes out in boxing. Sometimes, you know, some things slip past you. You know, it slipped past me. You know, the last fight Leo had was with Javante Tank Davis. And he got knocked out <laughs> in devastating fashion. You know, uh, most people expected that to happen, man. Leo was pulled up in weight. You know, he's a smaller dude. And this fight, I guess this was like his comeback fight after his knockout. You know, his his get his bearings back fight or whatever it is. Uh, The whole fight, you know, Leo looked like he showed some more savageness. You know, he always was a come forward volume puncher, but um, it looked like... He looks a little bit. He, his body, man, it seemed like his body is filling in. He looked, he looked much bigger than usual to me for some reason. Uh, he, he definitely was going to the body a whole lot more than you usually see him go to the body. He looked like um, he was trying to punch with some conviction. And the guy he was fighting, uh, Keenan Cab- Cabaha, uh, no power, just like Leo Santa Cruz. So pretty much the whole fight. It was a non-power fest, pretty much, man. So they were just pretty much punching each other, giving each other all they had, and uh, they both were still standing. It was almost, it was, <laughs> I was watching Leo Santa Cruz. I mean, he was throwing everything he had, bro, at this dude. And he couldn't hurt this dude at all, at all. And dude didn't hurt Leo. But Leo was like, Leo was the aggressor. Most of the fight, he was the aggressor. Kid hit Leo with some good shot with a couple of good shots. Leo took it, you know, because you know I guess, like I said, the power. Kid didn't really have that much power, and on top of that, um, I can't really doubt Leo's chin. I'll get into that in another video, but uh, to me, man, it wasn't. It was boring, man. It wasn't even, you know, it wasn't an action-packed fight at all. You know, it was the Mexic the. I don't know. Is he from Mexico? I forgot where Leo Santa Cruz is from. I think he's he's Mexican. I, I think so, yeah. And the other guy, I'm not sure where he's from, but it was just pretty much just punching. It was just they were just throwing punches at each other. And they weren't really doing any damage. I think Leo got I think I forgot what round it was. Leo got headbutted. Actually, this kid, man, he was headbutting the shit out of Leo. He he headed about it about three times. In the same location. And then look like Leo, every time he get headbutted, Leo get more and more upset, more and more aggressive. I thought Leo was going to go in there and knock him out. I think it was one time in that fight where it looked like Leo buzzed this kid. It did look like Leo buzzed him and hurt him, but it wasn't enough to really have him to the point where he was about to get him out of there. So, you know... You know, Leo was Leo Santa Cruz is not really known for his power like that anyway. But he got the win. Uh, this kid, uh, Cabrera, Carabal, he was giving it everything he had. You could tell, you know, he just wasn't, you know, he wasn't, uh, he had much less skill than Leo, but not from far, you know, but uh, he got the win. Much respect to Leo Santa Cruz, respect to Keenan Carabao, two warriors nonetheless. What's next for Leo Santa Cruz? I'm hearing Leo Santa Cruz's next fight is going to be Mark Mike Sayo. <laughs> That's who the next fight is going to be. That's what I'm hearing. We will see what happens in the coming weeks. And you know me, if that fight takes place, Officially, if it's confirmed, I will be making a, a video, a prediction video on that fight as well. This is your boy, Rebel Life Boxing. Tell me what you thought about this fight. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe, support the channel. Catch y'all later.